Hey guys and welcome. The fall of the UNSC Infinity resulted in a lot of unanswered questions for myself and a lot of the fan base. With not too much information on where key characters are, it leaves us speculating and waiting for, for more information come DLC 1. But one of those characters we know escaped, but we have no idea what happened to them after that point. That character? was Captain Lasky. Captain Lasky was on the UNSC Infinity when it was infiltrated by the Banish and was escorted to a Pelican for evacuation by Spartan Hudson Griffin and his team. What happened to him after that point? Where did he go and was he captured by the Banished or even Atriox? Well today we're going to discuss this in further detail about where Lasky is and some theories around how we might come into contact with him in DLC 1. If you guys do go on to enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more daily Halo content. Also, don't forget to ring that notification bell as well to be notified when a video goes live as soon as it does. But without further ado, let's get straight into this. Captain Lasky I would class as a fan favourite character, from being by your side in Halo 4 to captaining the UNSC's largest flagship. He's an all-round nice guy and a really cool character in my opinion in the Halo universe. With him being present in multiple UNSC audio logs within Infinite, I'd be very, very surprised and pretty pissed off to be honest if his story had stopped there and 343 had killed him off screen. That would really, really irritate me. Do I think that's happened? Absolutely not. But I do want to start with the facts and discuss what happened to Lasky in-game, just so we have a bit of a base on where we can base our theories off and have a discussion on where Lasky might have gone. So, in the UNSC audio logs, we do hear the dialogue from the beginning and the end of when the Banished attacked the UNSC Infinity, starting with the deployment of the weapon and ending with the evacuation of Lasky. But I want you guys to take a listen to the very last UNSC audio log, in case you haven't heard it, and then we'll discuss a little bit further afterwards. Almost there, Taurus. Another 40 meters. On your right. Nice shooting, Captain. Uh, I was well trained. Alright, sir, this is your bird. Let's get you out of here. My bird? We've got room, and you still need a ride. Still have unfinished business here, sir. We'll make it down to the ring, though. Promise. We'll see that you keep it, Spartan. Godspeed. This is Lasky to all hands. The Infinity has been compromised. All remaining crew should immediately evacuate and make for the surface. Rendezvous coordinates incoming. No matter what happens, we have to make sure that we... Lasky sends out a final broadcast to all crew members aboard the UNSC Infinity before his communications are completely cut off. After this, we have no idea what could have happened to him or why his communications cut off at that time. There are a few possibilities, one of them being he was under fire at the time by the banished AA guns and one of them shot the source of communication or the antennas on the Pelican, resulting in his communications to cut out at the time. It doesn't necessarily mean he's dead, it just means that he wasn't able to communicate with anyone on the Infinity. The second possibility, the Pelican had taken so much damage and it just stopped working. It was rather floating in space at that time or it was already within the ring's atmosphere, resulting for him to crash land on the ring. He could have used some form of emergency braking system to limit the impact of his fall, which could have resulted in the Pelican not being completely destroyed and his survival. I do think it's mostly one or two, where the communication antenna or something that allows the radio communication was destroyed on the Pelican, preventing Lasky to continue what he was saying and for his communications to cut out at the time. And I think that, yes, he crash landed on the ring somewhere. Again, we don't know where at this time, but I do have a theory about this. Do I think he's dead? <laughs> Absolutely not. You really think 343 would kill off another character like Lasky off screen? No way. The community would have an uproar at that. Now, I'm going to give you guys my theory as to what I believe happened to Lasky and how I think that we'll be introduced to him in the story. It's a really, really cool theory, something that I would love to see in Halo and introduces a lot of different things that I would love to see return in Infinite as well. A couple of different play styles and a couple of different ways to infiltrate bases and different ways you can approach enemy encounters that I would love to see added into Halo Infinite. Now, yes, some people might say the timelines may not match entirely with this theory but there are ways that you can tweak it to make the timelines match but go into this theory with an open mind visualize what i'm saying 
I think it's probably one of the best opening missions that I can think of. I think Captain Lasky crash landed on a part of the ring, but survived. Again, going back to my second point, maybe there was some form of emergency braking system he activated, which prevented the Pelican from just hitting the ring from head on. Kind of cushioned his fall a little bit. He then suddenly woke up and realized that he was unconscious for a few hours. He exited the Pelican and had a look at his surroundings. In the distance, he could hear a roar of some sort. He turns around and he can see the Infinity slowly falling into its fate in the ring's atmosphere. And moments later, crash landing into the ring, causing a huge earthquake across the ring's structures. I think Lasky then tries to go on to repair his Pelican in order to try and fly over and scalp for survivors and then attempt a search and rescue mission to see who he can find from the crew from the Infinity that may have been on the ship when it crash landed or just generally who the Banished had maybe captured. He scavenged for parts while avoiding any banished contact. After days of scavenging, Lasky fires up the Pelican and flies over to the crash landed Infinity. Upon his arrival, he sees multiple camps of banished forces with, with ODSTs, Marines and general crew members all tied up and captured, almost being tortured for what they know. Alongside this, he also sees banished forces stripping and tearing down parts of the Infinity for parts and to use for banished structures. Lasky lands his pelican outside the compound, which holds the UNSC Infinity and slowly begins to approach the compound with only a pistol in hand. He looks inside and plans his next move, and whilst doing so, his eyes cross multiple marines that were held in a cage. Lasky slowly approaches and tries to save them and manages to free the marines. The marines then run to the pelican and get out of the compound to safety. However, Lasky finally gets found out by one of the brutes patrolling the area who places him in cuffs and escorts him to the UNSC Infinity's bridge, which would later be known as the Banished's temporary stronghold. This is where we find Atriox standing at the front of the ship, pondering his next move. With a big scar down the left-hand side of his face, Atriox questions Lasky, almost interrogates him, asking him for information about the Infinity, how it works, and information on ways that they can reverse engineer some of the forerunner technology within but he wouldn't budge. Atriox then goes on to tell him his plan and how he's already freed the Endless and that the UNSC and humanity don't stand a chance in this war. Lasky attempts to talk back to Atriox, bigging up humanity and, and mentioning that the chief is still alive. Atriox is astounded and he couldn't believe what Lasky was saying. And in a fit of rage, Atriox strings Lasky up to the front of the UNSC Infinity for the whole of the compound to see periodically shocking him so that his screams could be heard echoing through the walls of the infinity until someone would come and save him. Now, this is where my theory of the Chief, the Spirit of Fire, Locke and Red Team come into play, and it would make for such a fucking cool opening mission for DLC 1. I really hope this is something that they're exploring at the time because this would be amazing. If you guys want to hear a full theory of this, I'll leave it in the link down below or a card on screen right now. I'd really recommend going to watch it. It's a really interesting theory and definitely worth a listen. Red Team, Locke and Chief are sent on a rescue mission by Captain Cutter to investigate the UNSC Infinity's crash site. After pinging its last location, they find that it's on a part of a ring that they haven't yet explored. So they suit up, prepare and extract for the mission. The team infiltrate the compound of the Infinity and see the landed Pelican with multiple marine forces inside and around it a fair distance away from the Infinity at the time. They move towards the Pelican and meet with the Marines, and they let them know that the Banished have Lasky inside the ship, and that they can sometimes hear his screams from all the way over here. Chief, Red Team, and Locke move for the Infinity, taking a stealthier approach. They manage to get inside undetected, hearing sounds and eerie noises as they sneak through the wreckage of the ship. Around every single corner, there are Banished forces patrolling the Infinity and if spotted, will alert everyone. You could hear a pin drop whilst walking through. It was that silent and that eerie. The teams move freely through the ship, tackling it in any way they like. No linear paths, completely your choice. But then they hear screams bouncing off the walls. They follow the noise and reach the bridge of the infinity, where they see Lasky strung up, but Atriox is stood beside him. Atriox is astounded that he sees the Chief. He thought that he defeated him at the start of the game, but of course not. Atriox goes on to say that you're too late. The Endless are now free, and together, the Endless and the Banished will take over the galaxy. This is where Locke and Red Team walk in as well, and Chief locks eyes with Jerome092. Atriox smiles and begins to shock Captain Lasky even more. Atriox summons his war chieftains to surround the two of them and orders them to kill the Spartans. 
the rest is history. Again, I just think this would be such a cool opening scene. You're really stealthy. You're trying to infiltrate some form of communication or something from the Infinity that we don't know what it is at the time. We hear from the Marines that it could be Lasky in there. We go in, we find him strung up at the front of the Infinity, and there's Atriox with his red gravity hammer stood beside him. Almost shocked that the Chief is there, but at the same time, he's not really bothered. He summoned the Endless, he's freed them. The two factions will take over the galaxy and become the most powerful faction in the universe. This could be what happened. Again, this is a theory and something that I would love to see. Maybe not the actual part of having Lasky and Atriox there, but the fact that we have stealth mechanics inside of the Infinity, a crash-landed Infinity that are banished are taking over at the time. I just think stuff like this really, really suits Halo, and especially with an open-world Halo Infinite sort of game. Being able to infiltrate a place like the Infinity, have stealth mechanics where you're not having to go loud all the time, I can literally sneak from one end of the ship to the other, undetected completely, that would be so sick. Maybe even having it so I can assassinate people or take out enemies silently with melees or even silenced weapons or something along those lines I think would make the experience 20 times better. But I also think this really adds an additional part to the story. We're not only worried and concerned or curious about the Endless anymore, but we've also got Lasky to worry about now. We have Lasky who's strung up and captured by Atriox in the Banished that we need to find a way to save as well. And not only the Endless, we don't know who they are, we don't know how to take them down, we don't know their weaknesses. So yeah, we have two things to kind of worry about at this time. Maybe Lasky could be a series of side missions that we have to complete. And then the Endless can be the main campaign. Again, I don't know how the DLC is going to work in Halo Infinite. I would love it to be a whole campaign that we played through again. But to keep content fresh and to keep things coming very, very regularly, I would like to see a couple of campaign DLCs a year. So even if they are two, three, four hours long, I would like to see maybe two or three a year to keep it fresh. If we just have one long campaign per year, I don't know how I'd feel about that. Because if it's left on a cliffhanger that nobody likes then it's going to be a bit of a problem. But guys, what do you think happened to Captain Lasky? I think he crash landed onto Save the Halo, and like any captain would, he tried to save as many of his crew members as possible before essentially going down with the ship. I would really like to see something like this come in DLC, and I think it really does suit the way that Halo Infinite works. Maybe even exploring some different biomes. Imagine a snowy biome that the UNSC Infinity had landed in. And then we try and infiltrate it at night and only the light from your helmet or the night sky. I just think stuff like this, just the atmosphere, make it atmospheric, make it scary, give the horror scenes back, make it with you have to use a torch inside the infinity. Just stuff like this would make DLC in the opening mission something to go back about and something jaw dropping. I don't want it to be some generic cutscene just because they didn't have time. Put some effort into the start of the game to get me engaged. And I think this would be the perfect thing for it. But guys, let me know your theories down below. Even let me know what you think might happen at the start of DLC 1. This is my theory. What's yours? How do you think Captain Lasky survived? Do you think he survived? And do you think any of the Spartans or Marines or ODSTs do, did survive as well? Let me know in the comments down below. But guys, if you did enjoy this video, drop a like. And if you like my theory, definitely do drop a like as well and let me know. Subscribe if you're brand new. And don't forget to turn on notifications as well if you are new to the channel and want to be notified when a video does go live. But have a rest of your day, guys. Speak soon and take care.